Hi, I'm Ben from Beam Object, and today I'm going to showcase the German manufacturer of Metawell's Metal Wall Aluminium Facade Cladding and the Metawell Radiant Ceiling Line for Autodesk Revit. Uh, and today I'll be using Revit 2013. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and downloaded the objects from the BIMobject.com object portal and loaded them into Revit. Uh, by the way, if you are a Revit 2013 user, we have a BIM object app where you um, can get direct access to the portal directly from within Revit. So first of all, I'll be like, uh, I'll be showing the um, the facade elements, the 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 metal wall facade elements, and then I'll hop over and show the uh, the radiant ceilings. So as you can see here, we have four different types, and as you can see, we have native German objects as well. So there's there's actually two different types: there's the H10, and the H15, both in English and German. I'll be showing the English ones today. Um, as you can see here, we have default settings. Uh, we have default elevations. Um, I'll come back to these settings just in a moment. And um, we have materials, URLs back to the to the web portal, uh, etc. So, as you can see here, this particular object is a face-based object, meaning that you need to have a wall to place it onto or a surface to place it onto. So I'll just quickly go out and place it onto this wall and if we have a quick look in 3D here so we see that we have placed out the um, the element onto the wall and these are real BIM objects and we can go ahead later on and get out lists and information regarding the objects as well so we have different width settings for example here if we change this to, uh, to 1000 or 1 meter uh, we see that the height changes these can, can, be, can be combined in all different manners uh, lengths and heights. We have maximums and minimums, of course. Um, and again, these different settings I can show. And as I mentioned before, we have these different settings here. So if we come to a window or a um, some type of special corner solution and we need to cut out things, we have a cut function here. So if I go ahead and you'll see here now that we have a cutout around the corner here. And these cut functions can then be uh, manually changed. So for example if we change this one to say 1200 we see that we get a cut that goes down 1200 millimeters from the top right and in from the top right as well for example 600. So we see here that that gets updated accordingly. And we have it in all four corners so what I'll do now is go back to a full panel. So what I'd like to show now is just quickly go ahead and um, finish off this facade. So what I'm doing here is that I'm, uh, I'm using all of Revit's base functionality, so there's no extra um, add-ons or anything like that are, that are needed. Um, this can either be done in the floor plan or in the, um, in the 3D window. So again, either we can do simple arrays or we can do copies. Um, so I'll go ahead and um, copy this one up. So we've copied that one up now, and then we can go ahead and place the rest of these out over the facade. Again, either with the um, the base function, the array functions, or the copy functions. Really quite easy. And then we can simply take these ones here and again, copy them over to the other side of the door. And the last one here above the door, and as you can see here that we have handles on the objects as well, which means that we can adjust them afterwards. And if I just move that in a little bit, and simply drag. Okay, so that was the uh, meta wall facade elements. So what I'd like to do now is go ahead and show the radiant ceiling elements. Uh, there's four different types of radiant ceilings. So if we go in and have a look at each one of those. So as you can see here, we have the grid ceiling and all of the different uh, family options that you see here are the actual edge treatments. So there's different edge treatments with um, different settings. We have the jointless ceilings the modular ceilings, and finally the radiant ceilings. 
So what I've done here is I've gone out and uh, placed out the four different types of ceilings here. So if we go in and have a look at those. So if we take a look at the, the grid ceiling, we have the different options in here. We have different angle distances, cutting distances, shapes, URLs back to the portal, the different uh, support grids that we can also choose. You can also turn off the different edges as well. Uh, for example, if you're in close to a wall or if it's uh, if the ceiling, the, the panels are flush with the wall, you can turn them off um, so the frame's not interfering with the wall and the different uh, information back from the portal. So, of course, we have a setting for distance from the ceiling. So at the moment, uh, the default is, is 100 millimeters. So if I go ahead and just mark these elements here, and then go ahead and change the distance. So again, the setting here, ceiling to panel distance is uh, 100. So for example, if we change that to 500 millimeters, we'll see that the panels will now drop down and are now 500 millimeters from the underneath of the ceiling. So as you can see with these ceiling elements, uh, they are radiant ceilings, which means that they can be heated and cooled. We have all of the, uh, the piping here. We've also done them uh, as system elements in Revit, which means that um, we have HVAC consultants, if they're using these objects, they can connect their pipes directly to the piping, um, which is very important. So we know where all of the piping is going from, all of the cold and warm water. Again, uh, we have the different edge treatments here as well. So if I just quickly change this to, for example, an, uh, an EPK. We see here now that we have a, a rounded edge on the ceiling. You can see the difference here between the BK and the EPK. And we have the different support systems here as well which can of course be changed and inter-exchanged. We also have panel thicknesses. We have settings where the, the pipes of course can be turned off. If it's more of a visualization uh, project or um, if you're doing visualization work you can turn them off so it will become a little bit lighter if you're only showing the underneath of the ceiling. We have settings for holes for for lighting, etc. And the lighting diameters, um, width of panels, length of panels. There are of course minimums and maximums that are programmed into the objects. And we can change the amount of pipe loops as well. By changing the amount of pipe loops will actually increase the amount of piping. So that was the grid ceiling. And then we have the uh, the three other ceilings here. All of the settings within the, the ceiling types are very similar. There are some slight differences. The major difference, of course, and the most obvious one, is the edge treatments. And the supporting as well are different in, um, in all of them. So you'll find that um, maybe in the ceiling island uh, you won't find uh, the KR50, for example. Um, and in another case you'll find other other supports. As you can see here, the edge treatment here is the uh, the EPD and that can also be changed and the supports and of course we have all of the the general settings as well with lighting, um, minimum and maximum sizes etc and the piping can of course be turned off. And then if we go on to the next one which is the modular ceiling you see here that we have other edge treatments. Uh, all of the settings are very similar. So if we go ahead here and we can turn a couple of the edges off here so you'll see that for example if it's sitting flush against an internal wall um, that we can actually turn the edges off here so there's no interference. And then finally the ceiling islands. Again all of the, uh, the common functionality uh, for example, the ceiling distance 
uh, common with all of the objects. So as we see here, this will be now 450 millimeters from the under side of the ceiling. And again, we have the piping and the different supports as well. So that's what I'd like to show today, and that's for MetaWell, MetaWall aluminium facade cladding, and the MetaWell radiant ceilings. Um, and all of the objects are available for immediate download from the bimobject.com object portal. Um, and if you do a search for MetaWell, you will find the objects straight away. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.